I am Daniel Barenboim, and I would like to welcome you to a few moments with and about Chopin Nocturne in D flat, Opus 27, number two. Chopin has been for many, 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 many years one of the most famous composers of all times. He wrote practically only for piano. There are, of course, the concertos with the orchestra and small uh, number of pieces of chamber music, but basically he was writing exclusively for the piano. And he developed a completely new sound world. One of the most difficult things to do on the piano is to link the notes. If you have a violinist, I wish I had a violinist here who could show it to you. A violinist with the bow, he really links the notes, what we call in music legato. Legato means nothing more nor less than bound in Italian, something that is bound. Staccato is something that is unbound. To play legato on the piano is very difficult because the sound dies. And legato, bound, means to continue the line. And this is one of the most difficult things in playing Chopin. right hand, the left hand plays an accompaniment and the right hand is practically singing on the piano. And Chopin had a very, very original way of modulating, of changing the harmonies, thereby changing the mood of the music. The music develops, has a great climax, and ends very, very peacefully. And then just closes. Thank you very much for listening to me today. And please do send me any comments you might have. I'm very interested in what you think, what you feel, what you would like to see differently. Thank you very much.